Welcome to the new era of sports by schmucks. This is Charlie Fox and DeWitt Renwick. We're just two schmucks who love talking sports, right, Charlie? That's right, DeWitt. So first off, we have uh, some Gallic sports. The soccer team beat Kalamazoo Central 5 to nothing last night. And we play Portage Northern on Thursday. It's going to be a good game. Um, head coach Jimmy Prescott's lead, led us to one victory, and he's looking to lead us to another. Very nice. And then the volleyball team plays Madawan tonight. It's going to be a big game. Big game indeed. A lot of, yeah, a lot of sir, a lot of, a lot of, a lot bump of sets digs, a lot, lot of kills, <laughs> a lot of bumps, all sets, that good spice. stuff. All right. Now on to the real sports. Uh, equestrian advances to the regionals. Shout out all my fellow riders out there. Yeah, I see a lot of raw talent on that team. Yes, we do. Powder Puff, the seniors won 41-12 against the juniors. Kenzie Ford with four touchdowns and three interceptions. Very nice. Yeah, that it was a, it was a blowout from the start. A threat on and off the field. <laughs> Football takes on Otsego this Friday for their homecoming game. And it's gonna it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a it's good gonna one be a good game. one. Um, and now for our special guest, this man was a former Sports by Schmucks host, um, a fellow schmuck. He's one of, he's one of the good friends of the program, Mr. Nick Tracy. How's it going, guys? How's it going, Nick? It's going well. It's great to be back. Yeah, I bet. Um, First off, we're gonna we're just gonna before we get into some quick fire questions, we're gonna uh, just ask you a quick question right now. What can two young podcasters like ourselves learn from a seasoned veteran like yourself? Uh, <laughs> first piece of advice: you just gotta be confident in what you're saying. That's that's why All he's the questions. best. That's why he's so, the best, quick, ladies quick and gentlemen. Questions: you gotta you gotta fire them off and <laughs> make sure you know what you're gonna say. Yeah. That's why he's the best. That's why we have you. That's why we have you on right now. That's why you're our first guest of the new era. Um, all right. It's an honor. So, for some quick fire questions, uh, what, what's your forty time? Um, probably about four nine. Four nine. Spirit animal. Snow leopard. <laughs> what's your favorite local Richland pizza establishment? Um, the local, the Ned's. The new Big Tommy's, what is it? Big Tommy's, Big, Big, Big Tommy's. Big Tommy's. I only, only had it once, but I think it beats out everything else. Delicious good. pizza, Agreed. indeed. Agreed. Uh, it is good. How much can you bench? I don't know, maybe 245. 245. Whoa. That's, pretty, that's, that's up there. All right, uh, how high can you bunny hop on a scooter? Scooters aren't my strong suit. Maybe... Okay. Nine inches. Nine, Nine inches. inches. Okay. okay. And uh, last question here: What is a reasonable price you would pay for a George Foreman grill? Thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> Very nice. All right, it's on the low end, but okay. Um, I'm not in the market for George Foreman grills. <laughs> you don't want to wake up to the smell of bacon in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you could always make it on a regular grill, but. That you could, that yeah, you could. true. Um, we're next. We're gonna get in some some professional sports. Uh, we're Nick. I know you're a big Manchester United fan. Um, of course. So my question to you is: Is Jesse Lingard the future? You know, he's a great young player. <laughs> uh, he's been at the club for a long time. I think he is the future. <laughs> That's what he's I like still, to hear. He's taken Cristiano Ronaldo under his wing. He has. He's gonna really lead has. the team to the Champions League. Yeah. I completely agree. Um, he's even he's even teaching him some celebrations. It's it's, it's what you like that. to see. It's good uh, to see. Yeah, good to see helping out the young players. Yeah. Um, Champions League prediction? Who you got? Uh, I got Sheriff. Definitely. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I mean, big big win yesterday. Yeah. Uh, off of an electric win against Real Madrid. That's you see that second goal. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Frig- they're not. They haven't lost yet, and they're not going to lose. No. Yeah, they're going to keep this undefeated streak. Uh, that's that's a good take. That's a good take. Really uh, strong team. Yeah, really strong team. Um, I personally have to say, uh, I personally have to say, Manchester United, completely unbiased. Just, I think they're. I, I like that choice. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're a good team. They've got some got some weapons now. Um, yeah, Charlie, you have a you have a Champions League prediction. My Champions League prediction. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna have to go with uh, hmm. 
That's a tough call, you know. But I'm gonna go with uh, Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich, good choice. Mm-hmm. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> safe choice. Safe choice. It's safe. Yeah. Um, other big news in the sports world: uh, the APP Hilton Head Open was postponed from October 22nd <laughs> through the 25th. It's a big pickleball tournament. It got postponed. I was looking forward to watching pickleball <laughs> from Tuesday to Friday. <laughs> now it's Saturday to Sunday. <laughs> It's upsetting here. Um, But will the real question is: Will Ben Johns ever recover after losing his 170 match win streak? (laughs) Very, very, very disappointing for the young American. You know, I don't think he can. It's coming off that big streak. I think he's, I think his morale is too low. He's just used to winning. I don't think he can come back from a big pickleball win streak like that. No, I really don't think he can either. It's it's upsetting to see. Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing about Ben Jones, though. He's he's a fighter, so I think he's coming back. I think agreed. 170 was just a start. Yeah. Give him a couple of years, he'll be at 171. Yeah. You think? I like that mentality. I think so. He's a yeah. He's a. You said it right. He's a winner. He, he's um, really like crashed my pickleball game after. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I I modeled my serve after that. Yeah. Um, exactly. So. Non sports, Charlie. What's what's going on with school lunches? Oh my, the school lunches. We got to talk about this, Tracy. Do you remember the school lunches being so wonderfully tasty? You know, I wouldn't describe it as wonderfully <laughs> tasty. There was an occasional good good piece of food in there, but it was indeed they weren't the best food I've ever had. What was your go to uh, school lunch? A lot of the time, I would bring my lunch. Okay, but when I got it. Generally, a spicy chicken sandwich, I'd say. Oh, okay. Spicy or, chicken sandwich. Or a wrap. I would get a wrap from the, the that little, like, the sandwich bar. The sandwich bar, yeah. yes. Yeah. Those, were, those weren't bad. Well, yeah. this year, they are very understaffed, and they undercut us on our sandwich bar. I think most of the school is very disappointed on that move. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, disappointing. Yeah, it's very <laughs> indeed. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Um, it's right around the corner. March Madness, We're talking ladies March Madness. and gentlemen. March Madness. Nick, you have a, you have any predictions? I think I got to go with the Hoosiers. The Hoosiers. The Hoosiers. Yeah. yeah. Why, why is that? I think they're taking it. Got Trace Jackson Davis, preseason uh, All-American. Oh, wow. That's... Got some other players. Got a new head coach. New head coach. New head coach of the Knicks. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think... Everything's just falling into place. That's you know that's that's pretty good. That's decent decent take. Uh, mine, I think I think BYU is going pretty far. They have a freshman named Townsend Triple. If your last name is Triple and you shoot forty two percent from three, you're gonna do well. You're gonna do yeah, you're gonna do wonderful scary. things. It's it's that's just a, that's the player right there. That he definitely is the Jimmer Fredette reincarnated right there. Um, uh, Southern Illinois sophomore. Chris Cross might knock them down out of the tournament. Yeah, I fundamentals are key. If your name's Chris Cross, you're trying to do too much. You're trying to do too much there, Chris. I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna blow Southern Illinois' chance. Yeah, um, I don't know if they're gonna make the tournament anyway, but that just in case, they're, mm. Chris Cross might. With a name like Chris, with a name like Chris Cross, I think they have to. Yeah. Um, then on the U, they have a a player named Wuga Poplar. He just just like the name. He's <laughs> anyone with a name that intimidating is destined for greatness. Destined. Um, and then finally, we got Oral Roberts center. Um, Isaac Heron is actually knighted, so he is Sir Isaac Heron. <laughs> and I think Sir Isaac Heron will do great things yeah. at Oral Roberts. Yeah, exactly. I really do. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, Nick, do you have any questions for us? Anything you want to talk to us about? I just I talked to your brother about coming on the podcast. He said he's you're biting his style a little bit. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just I'm just continuing on the legacy. Um, no no style there. No st- no style hijacking there. Just all just all for the love of the game. All, all right, for the love of the game. Answer. Yeah, I can, uh, I can I can agree with that. All right, um, we'll be back next, next week. time next week or next time with a, another special guest. All right. Schmucks out. Thanks for having me.